Hey guys, Cole here. I just wanted to sit down and show you how I color graded my recent Bali travel film. If you haven't checked it out, would really appreciate it if you gave it a look. It's the last video I posted on my channel. I'll link it above as well. So I've recently, within the past six to eight months, I would say, switched over to DaVinci Resolve. That's where I'll be showing you guys how I color graded this project. And I just want to use these two clips as an example here. So first thing, once I set up my project and my timeline, going into the project setting, here you're gonna to want to make sure under color management your timeline color space and your output color space are both rec 709a not to bore you with too many details this essentially will just get you the most accurate colors as you export your video and then you also are gonna to want to make sure your timeline is rec 709a as well so if you go into your timeline here right click on that timelines and timeline settings if you navigate over to the color tab make sure the timeline color space output color space is rec 709a as well diving into our first clip so once we have the clip selected we will pop over to the color window and we'll set up our node tree first so what we're going to want to do we'll just close that make some more room for this grade made eight different nodes this first one will be an exposed Exposure node and then to make additional nodes right click add node and select corrector drag that onto your node tree there right click node label this will be my white balance node this will be my conversion LUT my actual creative LUT glow halation we'll add some film grain there Oops. Then our eighth node will just be our vignette. And there we go. So there's our node tree. There are many ways to set this up, but I'm just again showing you how I color graded this video in my process there. So what I like to do first is apply my conversion LUT. If you're not familiar with what a conversion LUT is, it essentially takes your flat or log footage to the Rec. 709 color space. This is an essential part of the color grading process. Most LUTs that you use are created in that Rec. 709 color space. So in order for those LUTs to be effective, you need to convert your flat footage or your log footage to the Rec. 709 color space. Selecting the third node here, my conversion LUT node, I will then open up the LUTs panel here. So for this particular footage from this trip, I was shooting on a Canon 1DX Mark II, which didn't have a log picture profile. I was actually shooting on a cine style picture profile, which isn't quite log. Unfortunately, that camera didn't have log. I will just go down to my Technicolor cine style conversion LUT and I'll apply that to the third node, the conversion LUT node. And and if we close that, you can see if I toggle that on and off, goes from this flat looking image and converts that to more of a realistic looking image there. So once I've applied my conversion LUT, usually the next step for me is adding my creative LUT. So for this specific video, I used the Secumpa LUT out of my Bali LUT collection that you can get your hands on as well if you go to shopcreatorlab.com. I recently launched a digital asset platform where I will be selling any digital assets that I create along my editing journey here, what I use on a day-to-day -day basis for myself personally as well as client work and I have created this Bali LUT collection which consists of six unique Bali inspired LUTs five of which are created to be used in the Rec. 709 color space and then the Basque LUT is specifically created just for underwater GoPro footage. I use these LUTs not only personal travel video projects but I also use them when editing and coloring commercial video productions and any professional work that I do with Palm Isle Studios. So the LUTs are very versatile designed and kind of inspired by the whole cinematic travel film world. However, very versatile and can be used across the board, whether you're doing commercial video projects, weddings, music videos, you can still get a great look using these LUTs. Going over, we will open the LUTs panel here and we'll navigate to the Creator Lab Bali LUT collection. Like I said, I used the Secumpa LUT, so I'll go down and find that Secumpa LUT and I'll just drag that onto the fourth node there. We'll close that and you'll see the LUT is applied. However, the clip is very overexposed. So the reason why I apply my conversion LUT and my creative LUT before making any exposure or white balance changes is so I can have an accurate image as to what it will look like once those LUTs are applied and then I'll make the tweaks to it, kind of fine tune it to my liking. So I work backwards like that just to be a little more efficient rather than trying to adjust the exposure.
exposure and white balance on a very flat log looking clip. So going over to the exposure node here, what I'm just seeing here is the highlights are pretty overexposed. So I'll grab the gain wheel here under the primary color wheels and I'll just drag that down until I'm happy. That looks pretty solid, but then it's looking like the blacks are pretty crushed. So we will bring those up a bit until we're happy there. Maybe I'll try and bring up the mid tones a little bit. Highlights a little more down. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that is looking. Let's toggle that on and off. White balance. I might want to make it a little warmer here in the mid tone. So we'll grab the gamma color wheel and we will drag that towards the oranges. I am pretty happy with that there. We'll just see a little before and after. It's looking a little warmer. And so then we'll go over to the fifth node here, the glow node. So I'll open up the effects panel and I'll search for the effect glow. So this will just soften the image a little bit here. We'll need to make a couple changes. What I usually like to do is change the composite type to soft light and then I'll invert that effect and change the opacity to 0.1. One five, and if we toggle that on and off, you'll just see just gives a subtle glow, just softening it up so it doesn't look too sharp and digital. Hey guys, so I'm just editing this video now, and something I didn't catch while I was filming this tutorial was that once I applied this glow effect, it really crushed the shadows. In hindsight, what I would have done is go back to the exposure node and lift the shadows a little bit. I'll put up on the screen right now what that would look like once I made that correction, but just wanted to mention that. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. And then the next node, the halation node, search for the halation effect and from here I'll just kind of zoom in you'll see there's a little bit of a red glow to the footage here it gives it more of like a filmic look here it can be dialed back just using the strength slider here I usually like to drop that down a little bit and then just to kind of add some texture to the grade I will usually add some film grain drag that on under the film grain presets I will go down to 35 millimeter 400t and then I'll usually bring up that grain size to a little bit under 0.2 and then to finalize the grade here I will create a slight vignette to bring the focus back to the center of the frame so what I'll do is I'll just grab the offset wheel bring that down usually no lower than 15 we'll have it sitting kind of around 18 18.4 there for now and I'll jump over to the power window tab here and select the circular power window and I'll drag this outer ring here this will just feather the mask quite a bit I'll drag the edges out to the the edges of the frame. Maybe I'll lessen that feather a little bit. And then I'll click this right here. This will invert the mask. So rather than affecting the center of the frame, this will affect the outside of the frame. I am liking how that is looking. So if we watch that clip, pretty solid before, after. And then once I have one clip graded, usually what I like to do is I will go back over to the color window, right click on the playback and press grab still. This will just create essentially a drag and draw preset that you can use across other footage within that same video. So I just wanna quickly run you through how I graded the underwater footage as well. So we'll pop back over to the color window. I'll go and grab that still that we've created. Even though the process is a little different here, we'll still just use that as the base to build off of. And you'll see this looks horrible right? That doesn't look great at all. So the reason why I dragged this still on is because we still want the properties of the glow halation grain in vignette. However, we will need to make a decent bit of change here with these four, the first four nodes. So we'll just reset the conversion LUT node, LUT node, white balance node, and exposure node. We could even just delete the conversion LUT node because this was shot on a GoPro, just ProTune. I've created a LUT in this Bali LUT pack that is specifically for underwater GoPro footage shot with a flat Pro Tune picture profile. To simplify this process for you guys, just go over to the Creator Lab Bali LUT collection and go to the Basque LUT and we'll just drag that onto the LUT node there. And that is looking a little better. Still doesn't look great because we have some adjustments to make. We'll go to the Exposure tab and navigate to the primary color wheels. We will bring down the highlights. You can see very overexposed on the skin tones. Bring down those highlights until we're happy. It's looking a little dark. I am happy with how that is looking and that even just just making that adjustment, it makes it look far better, right? I wanna add maybe a little bit of warmth to this as well. So we'll go over to the white balance node, bring that color wheel a little warmer. Don't wanna overdo it. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a little bit more. 
And there we have it after just a couple minor tweaks. We have a pretty great looking underwater clip. We'll toggle that on and off. There's the before, there's the after. Let's just play that out. And I am happy with how that's looking. So there we have it. I just wanna quickly show you guys how I color graded my Bali travel film. If you haven't checked out that video, it's the last video on my channel. Would really appreciate it if you guys give that a watch. If you want the LUT I used to color grade this video along with five other unique Bali inspired LUTs, you can head over to shopcreatorlab.com and purchase that pack. Would really mean a lot. Worked very hard on this LUT collection. And I truthfully do use these LUTs across all my projects and I would love to see you guys using them as well. All right, peace guys.